hello students welcome back to my channel in this video i am going to discuss about the multiple choice questions based on atomic structure the pauli's exclusion principle is concerned with pauli's exclusion principle explains the spin of the electrons according to bohr's model of hydrogen atom the following is quantized according to bohr's atomic theory angular momentum is quantized how many d orbitals have two perpendicular nodal planes four d orbitals will have two perpendicular nodal planes pauli's exclusion principle states that the two electrons in the same orbital have according to pauli's exclusion principle the two electrons in the orbital will have two opposite spins orbits in which the electrons move according to bohr are according to bohr's atomic theory the shape of the orbit is circular clear students the configuration of phosphorus is the atomic number of phosphorus is 15 hence its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p3 so option b is the right answer fundamental particle is absent in hydrogen is represented as h11 so it contains only one proton and one electron so neutron is absent in hydrogen the concept of atomic number was proposed by mosley the l value for valency electron in aluminum is here we have to write the electronic configuration of aluminum atomic number of aluminum is 13 hence its configuration is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 and 3p1 so the outermost electron is present in the p orbital l value for the p orbital is 1 so option b is the right answer the stability of nitrogen is explained by so according to hund's principle elements with half filled and completely filled configuration are highly stable the value of planck's constant is it's 6.625 into 10 power minus 34 joules second so option b is the right answer the liquid metallic element is the only metal which is present in the liquid state is mercury bohr's theory explains according to bohr's atomic theory it explains the spectrum of hydrogen atom arrange 3d 4p and 5s orbitals in the increasing order of energy so the energy of the orbitals can be calculated by using n plus l value so for the given three orbitals 3d 4p and 5s orbitals let us calculate the n plus l value so for 3d orbital it is 3 plus 2 equal to 5 for 4p orbital it is equal to 4 plus 1 so finally it is equal to 5 for 5s orbital it is 5 plus 0 and hence for 5s orbital n plus l value is equal to 5 all the three orbitals are having same n plus l value then the orbital with lowest n value will have least energy so 3d orbital is having least energy when compared with the 4p orbital and then when compared with the 5s orbital 
so 3d orbital is having less energy than 4p which is having less energy than 5s orbital so option c is the right answer the outermost configuration of an element is 4s1 the atomic number of the element is so here we have to write the complete configuration that is 1s2 2s2 2p6 3s2 3p6 and 4s1 so on the whole how many electrons are present 10 plus 9 so 19 is the atomic number of the element with 4s1 as the outermost configuration the shape of orbital with l equal to 2 so if l is equal to 2 the given orbital is d hence the shape of the orbital is double dumbbell the maximum number of orbitals present in the third shell third shell means here the n value is equal to 3 and from the n value we can calculate the number of orbitals present in the third shell by using n square formula and hence it is option d so the number of orbitals present in the third shell is equal to 9 the number of m values for a given l equal to 2 always m values depend upon the l value so if l equal to 2 m will have the values from minus l to plus l including 0 that means minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 so m will have 5 values so option b is the right answer the particle with 13 protons and 10 electrons is so here 13 protons are present that means the atomic number is 13 so element with atomic number 13 is aluminium and here only 10 electrons are present that means 3 electrons are removed from the aluminium that means we have to represent plus 3 so the right option is b so an element with 13 protons and 10 electrons is al plus 3 ion which of the following atoms contain the least number of neutrons while calculating the number of neutrons we have to calculate a minus z value so in the case of option a here the a minus z value is equal to 235 minus 92 in the remaining cases it is 238 minus 92 239 minus 93 240 minus 93 so option a is the right answer which of the properties of the element is a whole number generally the atomic number is the whole number so the whole number is atomic number which of the ions is not having the configuration of neon so what is the atomic number of neon students it's 10 so when you move to the first option it is fluoride ion so fluorine atomic number is 9 and if it is f minus 10 electrons are present and coming to the second option here it is chloride so 17 plus 1 18 electrons are present so chloride ion is not having the configuration of neon no two electrons have the same value of dash quantum numbers according to Pauli's exclusion principle no two electrons have the same values for four quantum numbers so option d is the right answer the number of neutrons present in the atom of beryllium 56 137 so here again we have to calculate a minus z value that is 137 minus 56 so option d is the right answer the shape of the orbital is given by 
shape of the orbital is explained by azimuthal quantum number electronic configuration of calcium atom can be written as the atomic number of calcium is 20 and its nearest noble gas is organ so the right option is organ 4s2 is the electronic configuration of calcium who modified bohr's theory by introducing elliptical orbits for electron path somerfield explained the elliptical orbits for electron path if the electronic structure of oxygen atom is written as 1s2 2s2 2p4 and here they represented the detailed configuration of outermost orbital and it would be violate so generally the orbital configuration is explained by Hund's rule so whenever degenerate orbitals are available each orbital should be filled with single electron each here the oxygen configuration is violating Hund's principle the total number of orbitals in a principal shell are so principal shell means it it is n so the total number of orbitals can be obtained by n square so option b is the right answer the electronic configuration of an atom can be defined by which of the following while defining electronic configuration we have to follow off both principle Pauli's exclusion principle and Hund's rule so option D is the right answer so while writing the electronic configuration one should follow all the three principles the energy is lowest for the orbital here also we have to calculate the n plus l value so we have to calculate n plus l value for all the four orbitals 3d 4p 4s and 4f so coming to the 3d orbital it is 3 plus 2 equal to 5 for 4p orbital 4 plus 1 equal to 5 for 4s orbital it is 4 plus 0 equal to 4 for 4f orbital it is equal to 4 plus 3 and it is equal to 7 so from the n plus l values it is very clear that 4s orbital is having the lowest energy a given orbital labeled by m equal to 1 this cannot be generally the m value depends upon the l value if m is equal to 1 that means for the given options if it is s orbital then what is the m value m is equal to 0 why l is equal to 0 so in the remaining cases m may be equal to 1 but coming to the option a it is s orbital for s orbital always m is equal to 0 so the right option is option a a splitting of spectral lines in a strong magnetic field is called it is called as Geeman effect if the splitting of spectral lines is taking place in the electric field that can be called as Stark effect which of the following is not a fundamental particle there are three fundamental particles namely electron proton and neutron so option C is the right answer so alpha particle is not the fundamental particle coming to the test question students you try to answer what is the mass of the proton at rest the cathode rays consists of which of the following particles is it clear about the test questions finally i would like to conclude this video by emphasizing the fact that time and tide wait for none that means generally people will pass time without 
time and tide wait for none that means you are supposed to not waste time since time is valuable you never postpone the work what you can do today itself till tomorrow if you like the video don't forget to like share and subscribe thanks for watching have a nice day